Hey guys, what's up? It's Barrett of Birds Music, and today I have another big old box. Let's check it out. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I'm trying to be gentle. I guess this is how I'm gonna do it. Very tricky, but I got it. All right, so that took long enough, but uh, we got this cool Dean guitar case. Let's open it up and see what we got inside. All right. Here she is. Here she is. What do we got on top here? We have a cute little sticker, a Dean sticker. Oh, man, that's fresh, actually. That's nice. Wow. I knew it looked nice online, but man, it looks really nice in person. It's natural finish, obviously. Spruce, walnut. Yeah, look at that. That's a really nice headstock. I like that headstock a lot. He's a big boy, that's for sure. But it's acoustic bass, so acoustic electric bass. And here's the other side with the electronics. I'm about to check that out. That looks cool. And the first thing I noticed that's kind of funny, and you're going to say, duh, Barrett. Uh, is that I don't have a pickup to rest my thumb on because <laughs> it's an acoustic electric bass meaning the pickups are in the inside of the instrument you know usually when you play bass you rest your thumb on the pickup and you you know you do your thing so that's kind of different um, it's duh though I mean obviously that's just something you would get used to you know uh, playing this instrument tone wise I think the strings that it comes with they have a really nice tone nice round <laughs> Actually, isn't much buzzing going on. That buzzing was because of me, not the instrument. Let's check some frets. Let's see. So yeah, I mean, as long as you put your finger at the end of the fret like you're supposed to. I haven't ran into any buzzing frets yet. So this instrument really uh, is not buzzing at all, which is interesting because that's one of the things I saw in the, most of the reviews for this instrument that I looked at. I don't know what note they what, what note do they rest on? Yeah. Yeah, that's got a really great slap tone, man. And I'm not a slap bass guitarist, so you know. But it's got a really great tone, man. The one thing I'm seeing is that it doesn't buzz, but one of the reasons why it doesn't buzz at all is because the action is a little, a little bit on the high side. Nothing crazy. I mean, you know, it, a little bit of adjustment, I think. Uh, and I might let my guitar tech guy do that. I can do it, obviously. They they actually give you the tool to do it with the instrument to do a truss rod adjustment right in here. But, uh, and that would help the action. I think it just needs a little bit of adjustment. But that's also why I'm not getting a lot of buzz because, uh, well, the strings are, you know, not that close to the fretboard.
here's some chords. I don't know, man. Oh. Okay, so for the price I paid for this bass, check out how cool this is. Press power right here, and it's got a little logo. Dean comes up, a little tuner, and you can right on it. Right on it. Look at that. That's awesome. Dude, that is fresh as hell. So when you press uh, pitch, you're actually changing the standard pitch of what an E or A or E, um, D or G would be, which I don't really want to do that. That's silly. 440 is standard for a reason. There's no reason to change the pitch, but it's, that's a cool feature. I wonder what note does. Okay. So it just gives you the chromatic, uh, just gives you the chromatic notes. So in other words, say you're trying to tune this string to a C sharp for whatever reason. Um, you would hit the note button and it would just say, all right, bro, you're flat. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. Man, I want to go back to normal, though. Uh, normal would probably just be, uh, yeah, E in this case. Or, yeah, nothing. That way it just goes to whatever the string actually is. That is cool, dude. Phase. Oh, man. I'm about to check that out. And then obviously your EQ, how much bass, mid, and treble you want in your mix, as well as your volume. I gotta give them an A plus on design now. That's pretty fresh. So here's what it sounds like when it's plugged in. It's nice because you get, you know, a nice tone from the actual instrument as well as... So what you're hearing guys is what I just recorded. With, uh, with this little bass, just kind of playing around, you know? So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend this uh, Dean EAB acoustic electric bass. Uh, you know, you might want to adjust the truss rod a little bit right out of the box, but it's got a nice round tone, and for the price, man, you really can't beat it as like a, 
just a nice acoustic bass to kind of play around on when you're working out bass ideas or whatever, you know. Um, so I'm happy with it. It's cool. And the electronics, man. I mean, that's that's super cool. A little design in there and stuff. If you're interested, I have a link in the description where you can check out and buy this bass. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.